Man, in today's video, I'm talking about how Russell Simmons' daughter publicly shames her father in saying, if you don't raise my allowance, I'm gonna go get a sugar daddy. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I ain't nothing wrong if, you know, an older man marries an of age woman. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We can see, like, we understand that, okay, for childbearing purposes, you can do that in a younger woman, but an older woman, you, you just not be able to do that. So let me come from there. But man, you see, there's a video, and if I can find, if I can um, find the link where I watched it, I'll post it in the description. Where Russell Simmons, twenty-some year daughter, I want to say she's 21, 22, something like that is on video and they got the footage out where she tells her father, if you don't raise my allowance, you know, I'm going to go find a sugar daddy. And wasn't too long after that, that, uh, she started dating this, you know, 65 year old man. And he's got these pictures, taking pictures. And I guess Papa Ross, he's taking pictures. And they're just having the uh, freak off time of their life. You see what I'm saying? But man, when you have a daughter that moves like this, I'm gonna put a scripture in here. Man, you have to watch over her. You can't let her be free like this. And she's of age, but I'm talking about in the age where we're raising her. And that's a that is a home that's had some, some tribulations, some turmoil, but she's not the only one out there with that mindset. She's just on camera saying it. Hey, if I don't, if I don't get me some more money, I'm finna go get me a sugar daddy. You got a lot of married women out here, you know, that if they're not getting the financial uh, backing that they want in their marriage, they all their necessities might be met. But they'll go out and they'll do, they'll do some mess like this. Get a sugar daddy. But I will tell you this. You know, being a harlot is one of the oldest professions. Dating back over 4,000 years. And no matter how subtle people try to make it seem, oh, you know, he's just a friend and we just go on dates and it's just OnlyFans and it's just this and, you know, we just spend time and he buys me stuff and I, I give him attention and all being a harlot is one of the oldest professions out there. And I'll tell you this, man, there's going to come a come a point for these women that choose this rebellious lifestyle. This lifestyle of sexual immorality and fornication, and it's going to hit you and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Once you got a couple dents in you and you're no longer the spring chicken like you are, once you uh, no longer have child, you have that childbearing virtue in you. Still have that part of your youthfulness. Once your mileage gets so high, you got a couple days, you can't bear children. Man, you're gonna be spiritually jacked up, mentally jacked up, and you're gonna realize, man, I, I climbed that mountain of attention and money and on the back end you're going to start to realize the people around you that have normal lives and how you can't get your hand on it because man you just you just lived a rebellious life that's one thing i want you we could talk about the allowance and all of that but hey if he chooses to give her that that's up to him that's up to him but i've done videos talking about making sure you don't spoil your kids so this doesn't happen you know but I'll tell you that she already probably had that in the bag once her father told her, I'm not giving you no more money. Ain't no telling how much he's giving her. That's up to up to them, but 
she probably already, you know, might have had a sugar daddy or a couple sugar daddies in the bag. And I want to highlight that, hey, you can you can take whatever route you want in life as a woman or as a man. But if you're playing it like that, just know as a woman, one day, once you didn't had, once you didn't got all these bodies on you, and you've been out here in the public and they, they got footage of this, it ain't going nowhere. You're past your, your child birthing years, you know. You got you got this high mileage, got a couple of dents in you. Man, ain't nobody taking you serious. You're gonna want somebody to take you serious. And then you're gonna try to play the victim and say, I don't know why no men I, 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 the story it just can can it just repeats itself. You always in this daytime and hour and always have had women who have played the harlot, you know, and were adulterous, pretty much always play the victim and why there's no good men out. They become the all, try to become the spokeswomen for all uh, single women out there that are struggling to find somebody. That's what happened. That's, that's just the way this is gonna go. Give it some time. You know, I hope people truly do turn from their wickedness, but that's a, to be a father and to know that you have produced somebody that is 20 some years old, wants an allowance, don't want to work, and then is threatening you with going to pretty much go get that get that box away for a little bit of a little bit of money. It's a sad day right there, man. Sad day, but sometimes we do this to ourselves, man. When you when you think about uh, a home being divided and stuff like that, it should be things like this to say, you know what? Hey, I need to, I need to stick in there for purpose rather than pleasure, because this is, you know, Russell, uh, Russell Simmons. You look at his wife; they're a little bit out there, man. They're a little bit out there, as far as some of the stuff that they said, some of the stuff that they promote, and it doesn't matter what comes off of people's lips, whether they serve God or love God or all of this. I've told you plenty of times before. When you look at Roman and Greek mythology. There's a plethora of gods and goddesses. So when people say God, you don't know who it is they actually serve. That's for you to discern. But yeah, man, anybody, any woman that chooses to play the harlot and, and rebels like that, man, those days are numbered. And by the time you realize it, you're going to have a tribulation on your hand when you can't find a man that wants to deal with you. Closer to Yacht Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.